How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with yeah, a little bit of uh, wannabe metal art. In the form of IPA, hopeful goodness, in the form of Arizona Wilderness Brewing, it is their Ganon. I believe that's what it says. Could be wrong. There's like two N's. It looks like three N's, but there's a little kind of added flair in that middle one, so it might be an H, but yeah, we're going to go Ganon. Why? Because I play Legend of Zelda, and that's how I know Ganon. Though there's some other kind of Ganon in the world, as far as mythology goes, but yeah, it's all about uh, yeah, Legend of Zelda for me. But that looks like more of a Norwegian metal band thing going on, so all kinds of pop culture references that I'll probably butcher and screw up. Anyway, Arizona Wilderness, this comes courtesy my boy Eric, thank you very much, brother. He uh, just moved to Arizona, sent me off a box of beers. That's the reason I am drinking this. Uh, what does it say on here? Uh, it says uh, Wilderness Ganon X, actually. I missed the whole X part back there. This is part of their Brutal Nature series. It's an India Pale Ale with Vic Secret and Citra Hops fermented to dryness. Brut. Brut. Uh, yeah, uh, so apparently it is going to be a Brut IPA. 5.9% uh, alcohol by volume. Done and done. Yeah. Like I said, label just looks like metal band kind of thing. And I dig it. I think it's fun, so. Let's see what this sucker has. Oh, wow. That's light. It kind of looks like, um, on the pour, it looks like a, like a pineapple juice. Um, the way it's coming off. The, the hue, that yellow hue it had. It's a bit darker, actually, in the glass. But yeah, it just had that, almost like lemonade closer to lemonade than anything else it had view wise and you had an index finger you not know, decently creamy beer but pretty rocky in the edges and just has that soft kind of pineapple with dash of kind of OJ thing going on so yeah kind of a unique color I haven't seen a beer like that in quite some time let's get a nose yeah I mean you're getting a soft you're getting a soft like pollen weedy tomato stocky greenness in there and that's kind of it. I mean, there's a soft, like, very kind of spritzy melon thing going on, but it's very, very faint. It's a very gentle nose. Yeah. Soft. There is a sweetness in there, but it's almost a vacuous sweetness in it. It's kind of like, it's sweet, but it's not as sweet as it could have been. And that's the whole brute thing at play. Uh, but it does have that kind of soft, like I said, kind of weed pollen, tomato you know, stocky greenness. And it's not too big, but it's the biggest portion of the show in the soft melon vibe. I'm going to dive in. Cheers. That's a weird beer in a very cool way. And when I say weird, let's use unique. Yeah. It's as close. It's cool. It's a cool beer. This is about as close as you possibly can get to being a, like, Berliner without actually being tart and sour. It has all those kind of more bright, um, uh, vibrant, uh, kind of acidic, kind of citrus notes to it. That's not acidic, it's kind of the way hops kind of lean acidic to where you expect this little pop of tartness to follow it and you're like, okay, that's a bird interface. But you never get it. Uh, maybe that's a combination of the lower ABV and the brute portion of the shell. It's really, really interesting. I can't reminds me of something. It reminds me of real fruit juice. Like if you're actually gonna squeeze your own fruit juice. Like um like if you're gonna if you're gonna squeeze your own fruit juice <sighs> grapefruit, um, you know, o oranges, um maybe even toss a little bit of pineapple in there. There's something else in there. There's there's a whole bunch of different fruits in there. You can throw a little bit of kind of soft melon kiwi things going on, but each and every one of those fruits that you're trying to kind of make into a juice mixed juice component, I don't want to say criminally, but way under ripen. They're not even close to being riped, riped, ripe, um, to where you get a fruit juice that is just devoid of sweetness. That's your brute at play, but there's just even. Though it's devoid of an overt sweetness, 
it's also very muted when it comes to the vibrance of what the flavors of those fruits are. Now, it doesn't sound all that appealing, but I'm telling you, it kind of fucking works, at least for me. Especially in the lower EBV portion of the show. It's 6%, 5.9. So it's not a super small beer. How it plays, I like it. I dig it. Yeah. Yeah. Under-ripened fruit juice mixer. Um, in a very fun way. Uh, the brute portion of the show works. I like the way it comes off dry. It doesn't come off too dry towards palate smacking. You know, you get a little bit of that. But it's, it's it, I, I, I would doubt it's 1-0% in there. I should, probably a little bit of residual, just a touch. A micron of residual sweetness. Um, even though they, didn't, they say it, uh, it's uh, something to zero. Fermented to dryness. Um, they didn't actually say zero. But, um, yeah, it's it's... It's cool. It's cool. It's one of the cooler... Yeah, what do they... I mean, they call it an IPA. I guess it is. But the way that kind of dryness plays, the way the hops play, the way that the devoid of sweetness, one, it's super cool, and two, by far and away, hands down, best brute beer I've ever had. And a cool application of it. So let's talk about it. That's it. I'm going to keep regurgitating the same shit while going off in tangents. So let's try to keep this relatively short. Is it one of the better um, brewed IPAs that I've had as of late? Yes, I already said that. Uh, and one of the better IPAs in general I've had as of late. Just uh, the the sheer uniqueness of it while still being a tasty beverage. Just because you're unique doesn't mean you're good. The combination, too, just turned me on. Value and availability, no idea. Maybe Eric or somebody out there can actually chime in on that and let us know what's what when it comes to how much this costs and where you get it and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this beer? If you like interesting beer. I mean, sure, if you like brewed stuff, if you like IPAs, if you like yada, yada, yada. If you like brittle and their vices, but you wish they weren't sour. If you like um, hop forward beers, but you don't like sweetness. There's a lot of angles you can go, but I'm just going to go with if you like interesting beers. Is going to do you good because this is an interesting beer and a good beer. A combination of the two, beautiful thing. So, there we go. Another review in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it, massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing, and hopefully, you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully, enjoying a nice little um, brutal nature series beer right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>